welcome to the problem section of this channel today we will discuss problem based on riemann integral okay so let's continue we have a function defined by this it takes value 0 when it, when x is rational and it takes 1 when x is irrational we have to show that f is not riemann integrable okay for this from the condition of integrability lower riemann integral must not be equals to upper riemann integral okay where lower riemann integral is given by supremum of lower riemann sum while upper riemann integral is given by infimum of upper Riemann sum where lower sum is the summation of small mi's and the length of the sub interval delta i and the upper Riemann sum is the summation of capital mi and the length of sub interval okay a small mi is infimum of function in interval x i minus 1 and x i okay where capital m i is supremum of the function in interval x i minus 1 and x i okay now for this we have to prove that the function is not Riemann integral we will split the interval a b into partition p such that this is the partition of the closed interval a b ok now for any for any interval it contains some rational number and irrational number ok for rational number we have 0 and for irrational number we have function value 1 we are interested in finding the LPF for LPF we need to find a small mi which is the infimum and the infimum in each interval is 0 since it has some rational point okay therefore LPF is given by 0 delta 1 in the next sub interval it will be 0 into delta 2 and so on okay equal to 0 now for upper Riemann sum It is the capital M i is 1 for irrational number, okay. Hence, the upper Riemann sum will be 1 into delta 2 and 1 into delta 3 and so on, okay. It will be equals delta 1 plus delta 2 plus delta n. The two, it is what total length of the interval which is b minus a. As we can see, LPF is not equal to UPF therefore F is not Riemann integral ok now see another example it's a very quite popular popular problem S is given by sum of the square root of the sum integer from 1 to 10,000 ok and the integral of the sum function root x is given by this we have to show what i is less than s and less than i plus 100 okay now let's do it
we have a function root x okay now drawing the graph of root x for integer 1 2 3 and so on for 10,000 okay for n equals to 1 it is 1 for n equals to 2 it is root 2 for n equals to 3 it is root 3 and so on 10,000 okay now as we know that integration of function a f x d x is greater than the lower Riemann sum and it is less than the upper Riemann sum okay now finding first lower Riemann sum lower Riemann sum for this interval in FEMA of the function is this that is 0 and the length of interval is 1 in the next interval in FEMA is 1 that is root 1 and the length of the interval is 1 and for the next two and so on for the last nth interval in FEMA is 9 9 9 ok and now finding the upper Riemann sum Similarly, upper Riemann sum can be written as for this first interval, the supremum is 1, the 1 and the length of interval. For the next one, it is root 2, and for the next interval, it is root 3, and so on. For the nth one, it is root 10,000 into 1. Okay. Now we know that the from equation 1. 0 to 10,000 f of dx is less than upper Riemann sum therefore root x dx is less than this is what this is nothing but s is less than s okay we have proved it this one is i therefore i is less than s now i have to prove this further relation ok now adding and subtracting adding sorry adding root 10,000 on the both sides If I add 10,000 on the both sides, we will get what? Plus 100 as the root of 10,100 and on the right side, we will get root 1, root 2, root 3 and so on, root 9999 and adding this extra term 10,000. Okay. Now we can see very easily, we can see what very easily that I this from 1 LPF LPF is less than 0 to 10,000 root of x dx is less than and adding 100 on both sides. Now adding 100 on both sides. This is I. This is I plus 100. And this is what? This is nothing but again this is S. Okay. Hence we have proved in either cases 
for i less than one and for s is less than i plus one hundred. Okay. That's it for today's video. We'll see you next time.